This is a question of reasoning from Venn diagram asked by UPSC in their CSET paper of 2021. Half of the villagers of a certain village have their own house. One fifth of the villagers cultivate paddy. One third of the villagers are literate. Four fifth of the villagers are under 25 year of age. Which one of the following statement is certainly correct? Right. So let's suppose we have 100 like the total number of people in village is 100 right so this is total people in a village right so now the first statement the first statement is saying half of the villagers of a have their house so house is kitno ke paas hai house hai 50 percent ke paas right half means 50 now second how many are cultivating paddy so cultivating paddy is how much one fifth right so one fifth of 100 because total are 100 so this will be 20. Now, the third. One third of the villagers are literate. So, how many are literate? So, literate are one third. Total are 100. So, one third of it. Means it will be 33.3. Right. Now, the fourth statement. Four fifth of the villagers are under 25 year of age. Now, under 25. How many are under 25 year of age? Right. Four fifth of 100 right so this will 5 will cut this 120 times then this is 80 right so this is the information they have given now we have to find out which statement is correct all the villagers who have their own house are literate so only 50 people have their own house right and this is saying all the villagers who have their own house are literate right so, how many are having house? 50. So, there will be another 50 who are not having house. Right. So, they are not having house. So, total number of literate are 33. Right. So, there may be some are having house and some are not having house. So, we cannot surely say like all of them have, all the villagers have who own house are literate. This is not possible. Why? Because only 30 people, right. 33 people are literate, but here 50 logo ke paas ghar hai, but yahan pe hum bol rahe hai, sirf 33 logo hi literate hai, right? Aur ye statement bol rahe hai ki jitne logo ke paas bhi ghar hai, wo sare literate hai, aisa to bilkul nahi hai, because we have literate are only 33, right? So, this statement is wrong. Now, second statement, some villagers under 25 year of age are literate, some villagers. So, how many? So, out of this 80, some may be literate and some will not be literate, right? So, they are not literate. So, this is possible, right? Because total we have 80 people. So, here the statement is saying some, not saying all, right? So, this, so this is correct, option B. Now, let us check C. Only half of the villagers who cultivate paddy are literate. So, how many are? cultivating paddy this is only 20 people so he is saying half of the villagers so half of 20 will be 10 right so he is saying this 10 are literate so we cannot and saying only because we have 10 literate because we have 33.3 people who are literate right so this statement is also wrong no villagers under 25 year of age has his own house no villagers under so there are 80 people who are under 25 right total we have 100 people right total we have 100 people usme se 50 log ke paas house hai and 50 ke paas ghar nahi hai right and hum bol rahe hain total 80 log aise hain jo under age hai 25 so 50 so this 80 will get divided between here and here so we don't know in which ratio right so, but here the statement is saying no villagers under 25 year of age has his own house. Right, own house nahi hai. Suppose yahan pe 50 ke 50, yahan pe humne consume kar di hai, asi message. But still there are 30 remaining who are under 25 and they are owning house. Right, so this case is possible here. Right, so because all 80 we cannot put here. Because here the number of people who are not owning house are can be only 50. But here we have total number of literate people are 80 right so this statement is also wrong so only statement d is correct 
right so the answer will be option b